we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the main event of the evening. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Foxwoods Casino, it's time for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing purple trunks, fighting out of and representing his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. His weight, 219 pounds, his record, 37 wins, five losses, one draw, 25 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Having held the heavyweight title and unequaled four times, he is known as one of boxing's great warriors. Here is the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion and the former four-time heavyweight champion of the world. Please welcome tonight's challenger, introducing Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. His opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, the defending world champion, wearing black trunks, hailing from Chelsea, Massachusetts, by way of Savannah Grande, Puerto Rico. His weight, 232 pounds, his record, 37 wins, four losses, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the first defense of his title, the man who made boxing history as the first Latino to capture the heavyweight crown. Here is El Primer Campeón Latino de Peso Completo. Please welcome the WBA heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Quiet Man, introducing Johnny Once again, a referee in charge, Steve Smoker. Quiet. Gentlemen, obey the rules, protect yourself, obey my commands. God bless, touch gloves. Touch them, thank you. Quiet. The good news about low expectations is that they can be easily exceeded. So as a fight, just a heavyweight fight, we may get a fight. Both guys has, have sweat on their bodies. It's a good sign. John Ruiz yes. pledged to himself after the two a fight that he would never start slowly again. John Ruiz now begins every fight in a spreader's position, ready to run across the ring and engage. He did it in both of the first two Holyfield fights, and already they have to be broken apart. There were 14 clinches in round one of the second fight. Holyfield has not been able to get a jab out yet because Ruiz is charging right into his left side. It's a hook and a clinch. Here he punch. Step, 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 step. And that's a good idea for Ruiz because Ruiz, 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 Ruiz because Holyfield is a good combination fighter. He likes to be able to throw three or four. So you throw one, clinch. Ruiz landed a right hand across the top. Hey, don't punch, don't punch. So the holy field again, finding difficulty mustering punching room against Ruiz for exactly, and there's another right hand shot. Found the holy field, best shot is his left hook to the body. No, my friend. Oh, no, yes, it was. That Steve punch clipped it. It's not. It was a solid left hook to the side of Ruiz's cheek. And Holyfield does not get credit for a knockdown. Don't punch, don't punch. Step, step, step. Hey, don't punch. 
punch, don't punch, step, step. <laughs> that was Reed's uh, left hook that time. Yep. Changed up a little bit. Effective, too. Normally he tries to pot shot with the right hand from out there, but step, step, Holyfield step. didn't see the left hook coming. Hands up, coming out. <laughs> and a body shot from the left side by Ruiz. Generally speaking, Ruiz Don't getting off it, first. What he did was... Wait, there we wait, go. Wait, Holyfield with his elbow on, up right. underneath Ruiz's Watch chin. Your head. You know, you He's frustrated. Holding, you he wanted to push him. You let him go. Let's go. Break. Get your hand bow down. Break. 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 Come on. Evander, come on. I know. I know. Johnny, stop holding him. Let's go. Holyfield is frustrated because this guy throws one shot and clinches and holds him. And just when he expects him to clinch and hold again, he jabbed him. I counted 13 clinches in that round. Holyfield basically said to us yesterday about all the alleged fouls, he said, look, these things are happening because John gives me no choice. He puts himself in positions where all I can do is push him away. <laughs> Come on, stop boxing this point. Get the jab going. Kick it away from the jab. Get it going. Here we go. Oh, listen. Do not let him get under you. That's what he's doing. Okay? You, stay calm. you know what you got to do, man. Pray. You are great. Her water, her water. You keep on praying. One, one right hand. Landed flush on Holyfield's jaw. And a clinch. Ruiz throws one. Every once in a while, two punches before falling into a clinch. Now that's where Ruiz says, he's elbowing me. And that's where Holyfield says, what choice do I have? Who's right, George? He's trying to push him away. <laughs> Holyfield has got to just start throwing shorter shots and not wait for the long-range shots. And he won't get into the clinch. Box Pretty numbers in round one, punch. Ruiz nine step out of 35, out. Holyfield 11 out of 36. That's about the pace at which they fought the first two fights. Just a little under 40 punches per round. Now he's got Holyfield hesitant to throw his left jab because step, 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 he's countering on top. Step, step. You don't want to take the champ uh, Evander's uh, left uh, jab away from him, then he can't do anything. Holyfield step, understands step, that Ruiz is waiting out. for one right overhand right on top of his jab. Don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Step out, step out. again. Holyfield looking as though he wants to box a little more tonight than was the case in the first two fights. He needs to bounce around and get his rhythm in his legs. That's when he does well, when he gets rhythm in his legs. And he's had not been able to do that tonight. Whenever he tries, Ruiz just charges in and holds it. He has to start all over again. Ruiz moves his body in a little jerky style. You just can't get one shot planned for him. Holyfield should just be throwing just any shots. Don't wait for effective punches. Just throw anything. That's what his corner has been telling him in the first two fights. Let your hands go and just land anything you can. 
Just playing the old punch, punch, punches, punch, one, two punch, stuff. Punch, I'll get you one, I'll get you another later on. Luis, as he did in round one, starting with the left hand and then grabbing. Hard right hand to the body by Ruiz. Unexpected for a body shot by Ruiz. And Holyfield telling Steve Smoker that Ruiz's last shot was low. Give me that edge well. Good job. Right here, Stoney. Good job, brother. Good job. Listen, you got to work with him. you got to jab. You're waiting too long. He's changed his whole tactics on you. He ain't coming like he used to you got to make him come with that jab. High jabs. Follow the right hand. Bang, bang. Step over. You got him, Johnny. You got to do it. You got to do it. A little bit small. You got to throw combinations, baby. You got to throw combinations. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Step when he's coming in and then let go. He's going to start running. End of the round. A low blow by Ruiz. Undetected by the referee. But pointed out by Holyfield to the referee. Copy box numbers in the first two rounds find Ruiz throwing 28 jabs. He averaged 20 around in the first two fights, so he's been a little more sparing with the jab here. Landing nine. Holyfield, according to Copy Box, has been short with all 26 of his jabs in the first two rounds. Now Evander trying to boogie in, rolling the shoulders side to side, don't punch, don't and punch. get some combination punching going. Holyfield seems to say, I know I can whip this guy, but I just can't do it. Is hit with jab unexpectedly. The punch, secret is punch. he's got to throw step combinations. Out, he's out. trying to do it with one shot. That's the mistake you make when you feel superior to an opponent. You throw one shot at a time. Vander made clear to us yesterday that he feels together. superior to Ruiz. And that's the problem. You've got to almost turn this into a... Well, what he said, George, was that Ruiz... He is a, he is a, Don't punch. Don't punch. Go ahead, never knocked opponents. He says he has fewer skills than any fighter he's fought since early in his career, which means he, he's so awkward that he's having a hard time Don't trying punch. to find a rhythm, just like we see here. One punch back to him. How do you find a rhythm in that's this the, kind of thing? I think that's a great job for Ruiz. Just don't let him get a rhythm. And I think that's how he's been successful in these fights. It's a second low blow by Ruiz. Step out. Break the rules of rhythm. You just don't do what is expected of you. Do something else. He beats Evander to the jab every time. And sooner or later, his trainer's going to tell him, you know what, you land him good left hand, now throw the right behind it. That time he led with the right and landed it right up the pipe. John Ruiz does mix it up. Sometimes he starts with the jab. Sometimes he throws a right-hand lead. We've seen him throw a left hook lead. We've seen him lead with an uppercut. A little of everything. Van is so dependent upon the knockout that he is not trying to win one round. Stay up, John. Stay up. Well, and you've got to question that tactic, given that both of the first two fights went the distance. He's looking for a knockout, and that's what I said. Once you feel superior to a guy, nothing can tell you to box him and win a round. Don't punch, don't punch, guys. Very good. You're right, George. I think he is looking for that big punch, and and he has an opponent. It's very hard to land break, 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 solidly break. on. Step way back. Very hard to land more than two or three punches at a time. Mark your calendars for these upcoming shows. Every Thursday night, don't miss Inside the NFL as we take you through the last month of the regular season. Get you ready for the playoffs. If you missed the premiere, catch a replay of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. We'll show you what's happened in the lives of Bobby Chacon and Danny Little Red Lopez since their memorable featherweight fight 27 years ago. And tune in for upcoming replays of The Game of Their Lives a documentary which examines professional football in the 1950s and how that decade shaped the game which is a multi-million dollar business today.
sports of the 20th century returns January 21 with the premiere of Picture Perfect, the stories behind the greatest photos in sports. Through photography, this documentary takes a look back at some of all of sports' most compelling moments. Picture Perfect premieres January 19 only on HBO. Make that premiere on January 21 for Picture Perfect. Not January 19, January 21, as the graphic said. That's the first combination Holyfield or Temple. A one-two that he just didn't do. You never get a combination going, the fight can change for Holyfield drastically. One, two, three. Holyfield said it would be an ugly fight. <laughs> Holyfield has got to be careful charging a guy who's already dropped him. Don't walk straight into him. Keep your bouncing up. <laughs> shot just below the belt. So far, Steve Smoker has not even warned Ruiz for low blows. Holyfield looking for an opportunity to land a big shot against Ruiz. But Ruiz beating into the punch again. No punch, no punch. just can't get a good aim when they do that. He does have good head movement. And he does it so naturally. He's not following a bob and weave. Holyfield caught him with a big uppercut. Ruiz came back with a flashing right hand of his own. One of the better exchanges they've had in any of these fights. In 28 rounds. And, and a very good moment for Ruiz because he got nailed first and came right back. Now Ruiz is getting caught with straight lead right hands all of a sudden. That means the head to stop moving. Or Holyfield has timed his rhythm. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> He's starting to use his left jab a little bit better, Holyfield. Hill. He's a good body puncher, Holyfield. No, 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 no. He's a good body puncher because he commits to every punch. Evander Holyfield wants to hit you. And Don Ruiz wants to hit you back. We ain't there. doing the right thing in there. Stay right front of him for the right You're giving him all, all the opportunity in the world now. Come on now. Come on. It's not about this shit getting you. Stay eye level and you keep your hands moving. Okay? Stay eye level. Keep your hands moving. This guy ain't going to do nothing to you. Keep your left hand up. A little bit. That's the only weapon he's got. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Water. Find a bit of water. Uh -huh. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. If we had more exchanges like the one you're about to see, we might have a real fight. Holyfield threw 41 power punches in round four. That's a very high output for him. want to close in on Ruiz, but he's afraid uh, that he's going to catch him with a straight right hand.
knocked Holyfield down with the right hand in the 11th round of their second fight. In Evander's entire career, only Burt Cooper in Atlanta and Riddick Bowe in Las Vegas scored official knockdowns against Holyfield prior to Ruiz doing so earlier this year. Holyfield better beware that you cannot box and take a man's title belt from him. You're going to have to get out there and fight for it. Him. Just when he gets confident, hit him with left hook, right hand. So we talked about timing the opponent's rhythm, and you're saying that Ruiz is able to judge Holyfield's rhythm as he bobs in. And he, he does it more effective because he doesn't throw power with his shot. He throws his hands. Holyfield has no idea they're coming. There's a jab for Ruiz. Ruiz not throwing the jab as often tonight as was the case in the first two fights. When he does up the jab output, he tends to keep Holyfield at range and on the defensive. He's got a, uh, that right hand. Been waiting all night, Ruiz. And Evander retaliating with two heartfelt body shots. left hook artist since Joe Frazier in the heavyweight division. He has a terrific left hook. Just never believed in it that much. difficult rounds to score. And the pace is slowing in round five. Ruiz, by copy box numbers, only threw 26 punches. Holyfield only 34. If they're going to throw fewer and fewer punches, it's going to be important, particularly for Holyfield, to try to make every punch count. He landed another left hook there, George. That left hook hurt. He looked for the referee to stay below break, the belt, break, but break, it was break. right on it. Very good. The belt and the stuff. Whenever Ruiz throws his left jab, he can't miss Holyfield. I've never seen anything like it. to the body so we can throw the left hook on top now. All right, hand inside by Holyfield. Don't punch, don't punch. Don't punch, step back. Perfect counter as Ruiz missed a left big. Holyfield at short range landed the right. No, 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 no. That's okay. It's okay. Step out, step out. And I got to tell you, for a guy no whose punch, chin no was punch, questioned no in the middle of his career, particularly after the brief knockout against Stua, John Ruiz has a good beard and takes a good shot. So far, so good. Oh, right hand by Ruiz. Count out Holyfield. Counter right hand. Perfect. No punch, no punch. Very good, very good. 
short bursts of action. you move into his left. If you move to his left, he'll throw a burst of shots to make you go in the opposite direction. That's why Ruiz should continue to his left side. And whether accidentally or not, Holyfield did catch Ruiz with an elbow right on the nose in the previous exchange. No punch, no punch. With so many clinches, it's amazing that there haven't been more of them in this fight. You mean more elbows and butts more, and what have you. Right. The what have you is, is the right word. All right, baby, listen. Let's try to take the fight, John. She's got to move. You can't stay in front of her. You got to punch him. You got to move your fight. You got to move your hands, all right? Stop moving your hands now. Come on. He's there to be hit as long as you move your hands. Move your hands in your head. Getting off, and you're stepping up, and you keep this guy going backwards. You're one Go round like the last thing in the camp, and that's it. Lead punch several times. Wide right to the body. He's fading right into it the whole time. Seven coming, six in. Good right hand by Holyfield, but he's been unable to land more than one punch at a time. in the books now between Holyfield and Ruiz. All of them rough rounds. Six more rounds scheduled in this one. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. I got it. Three rounds apiece. 57, 57. Jim, I got to tell you something. This fight's easy to score. When Evander Holyfield punches, Evander Holyfield wins. When they get squared up in front of each other, just like they are now, and Johnny Ruiz gets the first punch in, Holyfield don't do a damn thing. That's how he lost rounds two, three, and four. He came back in five and six, started to move his hands, got into better left hooks, and won those rounds easily. The first round was a wrestling match. I thought Holyfield did score a knockdown. Smoker missed it. Here's a man thought have had the one the first round, three to three. I don't know why Ruiz Corner has ever told him to move to Old Bill's uh, left. Holyfield has no defense on his left side. None whatsoever. Which is why Ruiz has been so effective with straight right hands. When yeah, he's thrown them. that's the reason. We got to find out why. See, now when he goes over there, Holyfield gets desperate because he doesn't want him over there. And Ruiz goes back to moving to his left. Now, it's the natural tendency of a conventional fighter to want to move to the left. Right, but if you go over to that, there's all kind of good things if you step over to Evander's uh, left hand. Evidently, he doesn't see well, he doesn't concentrate on that side good. And Ruiz seemed to know somewhat about it because he steps over there occasionally just to look things over. No punch, no punch. Very good, guys. It was on exactly that kind of step over to Evander's left side, and he was able to land the right cross that dropped Holyfield in the 11th round of the second there fight, just like that. Step over, and punch, good things punch, are happening. He could do it all night, but for some reason, he's trying to conceal that he's effective over there. It was, effective it over was there. right there, that little half step to the right side, followed by a right cross from Ruiz, very effective for him. Punch, but punch, as George points out, doesn't do it very often. As though he's waiting to unveil it. You see the right hand does not miss. If he's just a few feet, a half a foot over to Holyfield's left side.
Holyfield still looking for that one shot. He's always been a good combination puncher. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know who's winning this fight, but I know who's losing it. We are. The people who have to watch it. Because? It speaks for itself. Fights Jim, it's a bore. Right on, get on there, baby. Right get on that line. Get gotta pick it up. You gotta pick it up a lot. You gotta pick it up, baby. Big time, big time. You gotta move them hands. You gotta move them hands. Come on. You gotta move them. Come on, man. What's your against? Come on. Now. You can't wait another you round, another round. To fight. You gotta do it now, buddy. You gotta rough this guy out. This hey. combination. That's plain and simple. You can do it. Bing, right. bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. You gotta be rough, you gotta be rough, you gotta be tough, you gotta go. You're Punches like Tester at the little big horn. Let's go, man. You I gotta get it going. Now. Come on. You can't wait. You can't move wait. Move them hands. Let's, Let's go. go. You hear me? Come on. You you do, move you those hands. What you do to go. Constant litany from Holyfield's corner men. Throw combinations. Move your hands. Another slow-paced round in round seven. Ruiz threw only 28 punches. Holyfield threw only 33. I my punch. case. Don't punch. In effect, don't punch. Don't punch. in effect, you're telling the 39-year-old fighter that he's going to have to step up his level of activity and take it to a higher energy level against the guy who's 10 years younger. But if anybody could do that, you would suspect it would be Holyfield, given his incredible conditioning over the years. And uh, contrary to what Larry said, I think this is very exciting to see a guy of this caliber out fox a great fighter like Evander Holyfield. He's actually out doing the out fox another. Yeah, I was going to say, I've seen more boring heavyweight fights. No, but it's not about, it's, it's something you just got to watch unveil itself. Holyfield is still a good hooker, a good everything, but he's allowing this guy to over throw right hands on top of his uh, jab, step over to his left and throw right hands on his chin. Very unusual. over the years as Holyfield. Ten of his last 16 fights, George, have gone 12 rounds. No punch, no punch, no punch. Could it have been too much over all the years? Yeah, there, there are a lot of reasons, but the point of this guy still giving his best to go. He's the aggressor trying to land that big shot. And Ruiz is taking, is taking the initiative. He's coming to the guy, jabbing him, hooking him. Holyfield can't seem to figure out what he's doing. Yeah. So what intrigues you is that Ruiz is tactically outflanking the vastly more experienced, more knowledgeable fighter. And Holyfield is still a good fighter. And he just can't seem to get this guy. All right, John. Styles make fights. Maybe Ruiz has Holyfield's number. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Don't punch, don't punch. Ruiz hits him with a one-two and then grabs it. Now the combination, combination is into the, the body. Holyfield <laughs> doubling up with the left hand. Don't punch, don't punch, I'm here. Whenever he hits Ruiz with anything, no Ruiz job. makes him pay after. Get out, get out. Tough round to score. First minute of the round was very kind to John Ruiz. In the last minute of the round, Holyfield stepped up his combination punch. Hey, don't punch, don't punch. Step out. Was that, was that the hammer? Low spike. Good. The referee is doing a good job. <laughs> Stand out of the way. Give me Vaseline. I got it right here. Why are you trading with this guy? Move around him, move around him, move around him. Stop using that jab. You're lazy. He's lulling you to sleep. Boom, boom, boom. He's carving a jab out, then counting you with the right hand. You gotta move. You're moving the wrong way. Come on, let's go. If you go out there and let him get off first or walk you down, this guy's gonna pick up his confidence, okay? He's only trying to go the distance. You understand? Don't let him. 
He's only trying to go the distance. He knows what happens if he goes the distance. You know what to do. It's natural. Come on. It's You just got to do it Get more mad. often. That's Get all. mad. Don't let this guy. Come on, babe. Come on. Get them hands moving. Get that left hand up on the way up. CompuBox numbers in round eight. Holyfield seemed to have land 17 out of 40. His highest land number tonight, 43%. Ruiz, 11 out of 39. And you heard both corners. You heard Norman Stone, the manager of John Ruiz, saying you're moving the wrong way, echoing what George Foreman has been telling us about the need for Ruiz to move, Ruiz to, move to his right, as he's trying to do right now. And you heard the guys in Holyfield's corner Kenny Weldon saying he's just trying to finish because he knows what happens, meaning that they don't expect Evander to get a decision here in Ruiz's backyard. Moving to the Holyfield's left now. Holyfield tries to aim and seems not to be able to see. Boy, give Ruiz credit for following instructions well. They said you're moving the wrong way, moving the other direction, and he is determined now to move to his right onto Holyfield's left side. Move oh, 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 oh. over, okay. Move on, it's okay. Okay, one, we're just fine. Has that right hand. It's all, it's for him all night if he stays on Evander Holyfield's left side. Ruiz again moving in that Break direction punch, and again punch. planting and firing the straight right. Bows down, bows stands up, bows down. It's a hard, it's a hard guy to get a good shot on if you're looking for one shot. You just got to make yourself throw five. Now Holyfield succeeds in moving Ruiz back in the other direction. Let's see if he can make it pay off for him. Ruiz beating Holyfield to the punch with a one-two combination. That's one of the few times in his career that someone has beat him to the punch. <laughs> now the combination's on. There they are. All of a sudden, a flurry of punches from Holyfield. Break, don't punch, don't punch. Once upon a time, Holyfield could do that all night long. He cannot fight except in short spurts anymore. This is our last HBO boxing telecast for the year 2001, so stick with us at the end of the evening when we will give you a lengthy year-end boxing feature and we'll chronicle everything that took place in the ring, including upheaval and reversal at the top of the heavyweight division. April 21, South Africa, Hasim Rahman knocking out Lennox Lewis. November 17, Las Vegas, Lennox Lewis knocking out Hasim Rahman to reclaim the heavyweight crown. That and many other juicy highlights yet to come tonight in our year ender. Well, you you understand? Pick up the tempo. Just pick up the tempo. Pick up the tempo. Get in, get in a better rhythm. Get in a quick rhythm. This guy, this guy can't change rhythms. He's in the same rhythm all the time. You just get, pick it up. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. low voltage at least in terms of copy box numbers Holyfield landing 116 punches through nine rounds Ruiz 105 Harold how do you have it
haven't scored coming to the last three. Okay, Jim, in rounds eight and nine, I think Kenny Weldon in that corner got to abandon the hold of field because he's starting to move his hands, throw nice hooks, nice combinations, and like I keep saying, when he punches, he wins. He nailed them with good combinations, good left hooks. I thought he pulled that rounds eight and nine, five rounds to four, 86, 85, and van the whole of field. Harold Letterman, Holyfield's cornerman suggested to him between rounds that they didn't think he could win a decision here in Ruiz's backyard. What's your take? Can Evander win a decision here tonight? I thought he's the judge, Jim. You're putting me on his spot. <laughs> yes, Evander Holyfield can win a decision anyway. Good judges tonight. All right. We'll see. Standing on his feet pretty good. Don't punch. <laughs> oh, big right hand by Ruiz. up the right hand punches don't tonight. Punch, don't punch, don't punch. Don't punch. Don't punch. Holy took it just step back. Step back. Time Louis yeah, stepping in like that. He can get him. of any serious action in this fight, that flurry had the crowd going wild. Both corners want their fighters to pick up the action. Let's see if they can. Don't no punch, don't no punch, don't no punch, Lance. Harold Letterman has the fight even on his card coming to the two championship rounds rounds 11 and 12 if they go the distance it'll be the 11th time in his last 17 fights that Evander Holyfield has gone 12 full rounds don't punch don't punch don't punch thank you Both fighters are veterans that go in the distance. It's the sixth time that Ruiz has gone into round 11. Don't punch, don't Actually punch. Actually the seventh. He scored a knockout of Tony Tucker in the 11th. And 
for Holyfield. It's the 15th time in his career that he will have gone into the championship rounds. Hey, don't punch, don't punch. Very good. Very good. We still believe that he can make Holyfield run into no, 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 his no, own no, right no, hand. No, no. He's saving up for one good right hand. Best job I've ever seen him do. Steve Smoker, same man who refereed Bernard Hopkins and Felix Trinidad on September 29. We did a better job here tonight. He was good tonight. Rico, punch, no punch. I'm here. Step out, step out, step out. Rico, punch, no punch, no punch. him in the center. Last no. one. Last Please. one. Don't Listen. let him tie us. Stand up. He's got an even fight here, John. Don't do this. Come on. This is the one. That Don't one do this. Big Johnny. Come on. Listen. In this feet. round. Come on, Holy. All over your feet. Let's go. Come Don't on, baby. Your, put your, get down. Get come on. Left hand up. Get strong. Get strong. Get Give me the egg. This is your whole life. This is your whole life. God bless you both. God bless you both. Knock <laughs> your box numbers in round 11 were almost dead even. Ruiz 9 out of 34, Holyfield 8 out of 32. Logic tells you the fight could conceivably be on the table here in the 12th round. Harold, how do you have it scored? Six rounds to five, 105, 104, Johnny Ruiz, because in rounds 10 and 11, he did the punching, a band to hold the field, did, when they get spread up in front of him, Ruiz got off on first, landed clean shots, it was obvious to me that he, that he won those rounds. Ruiz is starting to win the, with the jab already, Holyfield just waits and waits and waits for the big shot. No punch, no punch, step, step, step. Keep asking Evander Holyfield when he's going to retire. Go punch, go punch. He says, that from an old man, let somebody really beat me up. Well, he hasn't been beaten up tonight. So win or lose, we may see him again. Come on, no more, no more. I don't think there's any question about it. He will fight again. Hooks by Holyfield. Another left hook. Good, good, good. Ruiz was holding on then, holding on. And the blood is pouring from the nose of John Ruiz. The blood is pouring out because Holyfield shattered the nose with that left hand shot. I mean, he's got him holding on. A minute to go. Ruiz is. 
spitting blood out of both his nose and his mouth. It can't hurt in a very close fight to have shattered your opponent's nose in the 12th round. Ruiz appears to be hurt a little bit and just trying to hang on here. Holyfield just can't seem to get him with the big shot. Well, it shouldn't be one big shot. It should be a four or five punch domination. It's and not a career built on the one big shot. Never. Stuff out, stuff out. But give it to Ruiz. He's bleeding. He's fighting. He's holding. He's not here. giving up. All right, Johnny, let's go, Johnny. Last 10 seconds. They've gone 36 over, rounds over, over, against over. each other. 36 rough, slow-paced, hard-fought rounds. That's why I've always said, let the people declare who's hey. champion. Well, both oh, corners are going to claim shot. victory here. You think these guys are champions? They fought like champions. You do? Well, you, you and I couldn't disagree more about that, George. Well, once you have one boxing match, then I'll, I'll let you know well, what a champion you, fight. Well, let's, let's, don't, let's, don't let's pull rank you, on me. No, let's let me on my guys, piece. No, no. <laughs> let's see if you can agree about one thing. All right? Let's, let's see if you okay, can agree about try, something. We'll look at a replay of the instance in, I believe it was the first round, round one, when Ruiz went to the canvas, and you at the time, George, said you felt Holyfield should have been credited with a knockdown here. Let's take a look and see. That is on top of the head. But at the same time, he was wrestling with yeah. him with the other arm. Yeah, Ruiz that's, that's, was, what, that's what yeah. threw the referee out. Yeah, Ruiz was off balance. I don't know that that's a knockdown. That's a punch right there. So you would still call it a knockdown, George? Oh, no, no, I'm not a referee. Okay. I, I don't make counts. Well, the bottom line is that he did not get a credit for a knockdown there, and it looked highly questionable in replay, and consequently not a two-point round. So here's the overall as according to Harold Letterman. He sees it as a draw, 114 to 114. And we'll find out what the three judges have done here in just a moment. Remember, Ruiz lost the first fight on a unanimous decision to Holyfield. Much of the crowd booed, and our colleagues at Showtime thought that that was not a justifiable decision. Then in the second fight, unanimous decision for Ruiz and Holyfield's people said, how can that be the case when it was just like the first fight and our man did better? So. Either way, it's likely to engender more controversy because I suspect that both sides are going to claim that they won this fight. You know something, Jim? The crowd stood on their feet at the end of this fight. They are the ones who pay. They are the ones who watch HBO. If they say if it's a good fight, that's all that matters. Well, a lot, of, a lot of them were standing partially because, George, they're from up the road in Massachusetts, and John Ruiz is their hometown guy. They have a tremendous affiliation with him. He comes from Chelsea, Massachusetts. Or maybe they were cheering because they think they may have seen Evander Holyfield for the last time. All kinds of reasons. Let's quickly take a look at what we think is the shot that may have shattered Ruiz's nose in round 12. That uppercut underneath there by Holyfield. Very, oh, no, he missed with the right hand. So it had to be the left uppercut earlier. Nope, oh, that one. That's there you it. go. That's it. The left hook right there was the shot that shattered Ruiz's nose in the 12th round. And Harold, when, when blood drips like that from one fighter's nose in the 12th round after a big shot, it's likely the other guy's going to win the round, right? Very well. Yeah, more often than not, Jim, exactly. Let's go to ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. and find out how the three judges scored the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Here is the judges' decision. Judge ringside, Julie Letterman scores about 116 to 112 in favor of Evander Holyfield. <laughs> Judge at ringside, Don O'Neill scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Johnny Ruiz. <laughs> Judge at ringside, Tommy Kazmarek scores about 114, 114, even a draw. The decision is even a draw. The champion retains his title.
appropriately inconclusive. Final CompuBox numbers. And you will see that Evander Holyfield threw more punches and landed more punches, but Ruiz connected at a higher connect percentage. Both fighters fighting at a very slow pace, averaging under 40 punches per round. Ruiz, as has been the pattern for their first two fights and was the pattern again tonight, Ruiz landing more jabs and fewer power shots. Holyfield with the edge in power shots, but generally landing them one punch at a time as opposed to in combination. Let's go into the ring for Larry Merchant. Thank you very much, Jim. John, how did you think the fight was going? I mean, so we just working round by round. You know? I mean, I wasn't really paying a focus on on uh, how, how was the scorecards are going. I mean, trying to work as hard as I did can. Did you think it was that close at the end that you had to win the late rounds? Are you well, satisfied always, with a draw? I always had to win those late rounds. You know? I mean, I, I was always, I was trying. You know? I mean, he got me with a good shot, but I kept going. You know, what I mean? it's, it's, you know I'm, I'm glad I came out on top. You know, I, I, I just got to keep going with my career now. Did you try to box him more in this fight than you had in the previous fights, which is more your style? No, I went out there and, and fought his fight. You know what I mean? I was, uh, my manager told me I was doing the wrong thing. But, you know, for some reason, I just wanted to go out there and just keep fighting. Now you're 1-1-1 one, one, and one in your three fights with Holyfield. Does this mean... We're going to be treated to a fourth fight between you and Holyfield. Um, that's all up to Don King. You know what I mean, whatever he says, it, it goes. You know what I mean? It's, you know, Don King's our promoter. You know what I mean? He's the best promoter out there, and, and that, that's that's. The will, if will you fight Kirk Johnson, who's the mandatory challenger next? Oh, definitely. I will, I will find Kirk Johnson. You know what I mean? Um, Holyfield was a tough fight today. I mean, it was, he came out to fight, uh, you know, that's what I appreciate about him, that he always comes to fight. And, uh, you know, I got to love him for that. Thank you very much, John. Jim? All right, so once again, after 36 rounds of action between John Ruiz and Evander Holyfield, little or nothing is settled. Holyfield, the winner on a controversial decision in the first fight, Ruiz's corner crying, robbery. Ruiz the winner on a decision in the second fight. Holyfield's corner saying, who's kidding whom? And now in the third fight, two judges see it opposite ways. The third judge calls it a draw. Again, no scratch. Three fights, they're even. Let's go back to Larry. Again, thank you, Jim. Evander, did you think the fight was this close? Well, no, I didn't, I didn't think the fight was close. Uh... I put the pressure in heat. You know, I threw more punches. I, I felt that, I, you know, I made the fight, you know, and so, but still I realized that any time you get into the judge's hand, that's, uh, you know, dance to change your wrist, you know. I, Why was it so difficult for you to get to this guy? Is it that he's just so awkward? Well, he's a very awkward guy. He, you, you just, you know, most most of the fighters, you can pick up what they're going to do to anticipate and where to get at with him. It was just, it was just very hard and I, I watched the tape over and over and over and over and over, and still, this awkwardness, this awkwardness, which is just a big difference to keep him from knocking out. Tried to not to load up on the punches, throw easy punches, try to bait him in, and all that. But you know, he he was able to. When I heard him, he was able to put himself in a position. Do you feel that this decision was a wrong decision? Oh, of course, I feel that's a wrong decision. But but each and every time it go to the judges, you know, I. I realize that I, I stand a chance for the judge to make a decision. I'm overcomer, and you know, I, and, I, and I, I thank the Lord, and I, I get back in line. All right, Evander, you have stated that if you're an old guy and everybody's telling you to retire, why doesn't somebody beat you up? You certainly didn't get beaten up tonight. Does this mean you're going to fight again? Well, not because I didn't get beat up. I, I'm going to fight again because my goal is to be the undisputed heavyweight champ of the world. And, you know, I, I, things like this happen to everybody, good people and bad people. But, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I, I don't quit, and, and I will I will continue to get down the road to become the undisputed heavyweight champ of the world. Thank you very much, Evander, as always. Uh, just these uh, final thoughts. 
No great champion really feels he's beaten until he's beaten up. Evander Holyfield was hardly beaten up tonight. He's been one of the greatest warriors there ever were. But at the same time, I'm reminded of something Muhammad Ali said late in his career when they asked him, why do you keep fighting, Muhammad? And he said, how come nobody asks David Rockefeller why he keeps trying to make money in his business? And you've seen what happened to Muhammad Ali. Jim? All right, thank you very much, Larry. George, you have a comment about the draw decision? Well, it was a good fight, and the people in the area are happy. Foxwood, it's the cream of the crop. You get good food, good boxing matches, and I'm here to eat tonight. I think they'll take good care of you, they George. They need my grill. Uh oh And are you uh, perfectly happy with the notion that you probably will be seeing Evander Holyfield in the ring again? Well, I'd like to see Evander Holyfield come on and work with you at HBO. <laughs> Give old Larry a couple of rounds. No, George. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. We'll have a final word on what happened here in the ring in just a moment and a look at the entire year of 2001 in boxing. What a tumultuous year it's been. First, let's look ahead to some upcoming programs right here on HBO. Don't miss the show that the critics are calling enthralling, wonderfully addictive, and wickedly absorbing. 